This stitch is called alternating waves. It's very, very pretty. That's the way it looks in the front. And this is the way it looks in the back, which is not bad at all. So it's nice for like a scarf. Of course, if you make a scarf or something flat, you need to add stitches on the sides so that it can hold the shape. So very, very pretty. So it would be nice also for a little girl's dress or a little girl's uh, sweater. So pretty. So this is a multiple of eight plus six. So I have here one, two, three repetitions, which is eight times three is 24, plus six is 30. And that's what I have here. So row number one, you purl the whole row, and row number two, you knit the whole row. And you know how to do that. I'll come back when I finish those two rows. Okay, row number three. You're going to see here I did my row number one is purl. Row number two is knit, so I have these two rows of curlies. Now, row number three is going to be knit six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bring your yarn to the front and pass two stitches purlwise. It means pass and pass. Bring your yarn to the back and knit six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bring your yarn to the front. Pass two purlwise. So let's do the repetition again. It's going to be one. Two, three, four, five, six. Bring your yarn to the front and pass these two stitches purlwise. Bring your yarn to the back and knit the last six. Three, four, five, and six. Okay, so row number four is going to be, we're going to purl six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bring your yarn to the back and pass these two stitches purl wise. Bring your yarn to the front and purl six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bring your yarn to the back and pass these two stitches purl wise. Bring your yarn to the front and purl six. One, two, three. Four, five, six, and last repetition. So, no, we already have the six and pass these two stitches purl wise and purl six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. Now row number five and number six are the same as row number three and number four. So I'm going to be doing that. Okay, so row number seven is the same as number three and number five. So let's do that. One, two, three, four, 
five, six. Bring your yarn to the front and pass to purl wise. Bring your yarn to the back and knit six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bring your yarn to the front and pass two, purl wise. Knit six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bring your yarn to the front and pass these two purl lines and knit six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now row number eight is all purl. So let's do that one. You, you purl the whole row, even the ones that you passed. So you're going to purl all your stitches. And then you repeat row one and two because you need to have the curlies again. So I'll see you when I finish this row. Okay, so I finished row number eight, which was all purl. And then I did row number nine, which is the same as one. And I did row number 10, which is the same as number two. So like that I can have my curlies and I'm going to do row number 11. On row 11 I am going to knit two and this is a little bit different because I want them alternated. You see like here. So I knit two, bring my yarn to the front and pass two as if to purl. Bring my yarn to the back and knit six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bring my yarn to the front and pass two as if to purl. Knit six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bring my yarn to the front and pass two. Bring it to the back and do six knits. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bring the yarn to the front and pass two. Purl wise, bring the yarn to the back and you finish with knit two. Okay, row number 12. You are going to purl two. Bring the yarn to the back, pass those two purl wise, bring it to the front and purl six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Bring your yarn to the back, pass two purl wise. Bring it to the front and purl six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bring your yarn to the back. Pass those two purl wise. Bring it to the front and purl six. One, two, three, four, five six and the last four you're going to pass those two 
bring your yarn to the front and knit the last two. And row number 13 is the same as 11 and row number 14 is the same as 12. So I'll come back when I do that. Okay, so row number 15 is the same as row number 11 and 13. So that means we're going to knit two, bringing the yarn to the front, past these two purl winds, knit six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Again, has these two purl winds, and knit six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And pass these two purl winds with your yarn in front, and knit six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bring your yarn to the front and pass these two purl winds and knit the last two. Okay, so row number 16 and the last one, you're going to purl the whole row. So let's do that. Purl the whole thing. So please remember if you want to make something flat, put some, uh, put side stitches like edge stitches like that it'll hold it in place it can be garter stitch that means you knit on both sides or a seat stitch which is very nice also I'm using the needles that the yarn comes for this is a number four yarn this is the simply soft and these are number eight knitting needles so there we do is go and let me show you how this it, it this would be a very pretty table runner yeah okay so that's it this is the wrong side see how pretty that looks anyway and this is the right side get this here there we go thank you for watching share us with your friends and like our page and subscribe I'll see you next time thank you